Liftoff features an interactive image gallery, just like the one you see on my screen. This image gallery allows your users to crop and resize images in real time. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how we created this gallery and implemented it on one of our existing PageFlix templates. Let's begin. Before we get started, let's make sure that our PageFlix template is ready. Following the guidelines from our PageFlix setup documentation, ensure that you have a variable established that will become the container for the image that is ultimately selected at runtime. In this particular case, we're using the variable name of image and we have applied it to our template as you see here. To get started, we're going to log into our liftoff dashboard and navigate to content and then to records. Our first step here is to create a new record type that will become the library for our image gallery. To do this, click add record type from the top of the screen. For this example, we're going to call our record type images. Type that here and click save and create. We're going to add two fields to this table. Our first field is category. This will be referenced later when we're regrouping items by category. This field must be of type text. Once you're finished, click Save Changes. The second field will be an image field. You can select that from the dropdown and click Add Field. For this example, we're simply going to call this field image. Ensure that you're also specifying a directory path. For this example, we're going to call our directory path gallery. Now that we've established our table, let's add some records to it. At the top of the screen, click Done to return to the main records menu. Here, let's find the Add button next to the record we just created so that we can start adding records. In the case of this tutorial, we're going to create two unique categories. We'll demonstrate how this is used later in this tutorial. For each of the images, we're going to iterate this same process. As a special tip, you can click the Columns drop-down and select both Category and Image so that you can see the data that you've entered exposed to the screen. This is not required. Now that we've created our image library, we're going to make our final changes. Open your XML descriptor file for this template. If you're unfamiliar with the XML descriptor file and how it affects your site and templates, please refer to our online help documentation before completing this step. For our example, we're going to add a variable to our XML file. In this example, we'll set our order to one and our name to image. Please note that the name is very important. The name we place here must match the name of the variable on our PageFlex template where this image will be placed. So that we can pull data from a record source, we're going to create an attribute field.
Our first attribute will be called record source. The source will reference the record we just created called images. Additionally, for presentation purposes, we can set the dimensions of our image when cropped. For this example, we're using 300 by 300. Finally, let's set our variable type to image picker to initialize the control as an image gallery. You can optionally set a caption so that your readers understand the selection they're about to make. Once finished, let's save our file and see if our example works. Navigating back to our product category, we'll select the menu we just created and customize it. If we completed the previous steps properly, we should see the categories we created at the top of the menu and images inside of each category. As you select images, they should each appear on the rendered image as desired. Additionally, you may play around with the crop and resize features until you're satisfied with the results. And that's it! You've successfully created a template that pulls variable data from an image gallery. Thanks for watching.